After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Okay, guys. I'm back with another video real quick. My two Satoshis. And after I dropped the other video, I've steadily been, steadily been watching the charts. And Jade is going ballistic, man. They're up 196% right now. The last one I said it was up 100. Took a while for it to upload, like I said. But since then, Einstein has just dropped the medium arc. Let's go over it real quick. I want to be the first with this. When everyone wakes up in the morning, man, it's going to be a frenzy. I already know it. The medium article, the medium article says our ut utility roadmap has arrived. Let's go over the medium article. It says our utility roadmap has arrived. How low would Jay go? Wouldn't it be great if we knew the answer to that question? What if there was a precise dollar amount and it couldn't fall below? And what if that number was publicly known? Here's the thing. At one point, we had back, to, back price of Jade on our homepage. News alert. That number was a bullshit. I was wondering where the number went. I don't know if you was paying attention in one video. I was literally looking for the number and was like, wait a minute. What? Where'd it go? I was trying to find it and I was like, what the hell kind of shit is this? Hey, and it said, and it's bullshit for all on forks. Here's the proof. And it shows the backing of per ohm is $101.18. What do you think happens when the price of ohm hits that price? The answer, nothing. Most people don't know this. I didn't know this. Well, I had heard that everything was backed by one die or $1, right? I admit that. They said most people don't know this. Most people think that the protocol initiates a buyback to maintain their price. But that's false. And that's what I have been led to believe. Straight up. Straight from Olympus Dow's get book. It says ohm is backed, not pegged. Each ohm is backed by one die, not pegged to it. Because the treasury backs every ohm with at least one die, the protocol would buy back and burn ohm when it trades below one die. That's what I've heard too. This has the effect of pushing ohm price back up to one die. Ohm could always trade above one die because there is no upper limit imposed by the protocol. Okay, so let's go on with what they're saying. They said the buyback price of Olympus style dials is one die. This begs the question, why would ohm trade at 350 times above the back price? Why would time trade it? 3,650 times the back price because people falsely believe that the back price is the lowest the coin can go. I did too. That's what made it so unattractive to me. I was like, so it can go all the way down to a, basically a dollar? No, I did not like that. I was like, mm -mm, that's too far of a fall. So anyway, so we did an experiment. They said they would move the back price information from the Jade website and the price quickly dipped below it. It was fascinating to watch. Psychologically, just seeing a bag price on the homepage increased the odds of the token trading above it, even though the bag price doesn't actually mean anything. The masses invested in protocols like Time and Ohm are in for a rude awakening once the, if this information becomes common knowledge. Now, I just watched a video with Taiki Maida and Jordy Alexander, and I do believe that he said something very similar to that. And I had a video I was going to drop on that, but we'll, this this card this takes precedent right now. So anyway, and how would and how would we do it with a decentralized VC fund that rewards its users without the legal risk of Jade being labeled a security? Boy, they hit no all. I see why John said <laughs> they've been working on their whiteboard. That's, that's, he hit it on the head. Thus alienating the entire country from participating. Yep. No one has figured out how to do this until now. It's sounding interesting. <laughs> I'll give it to you. It's sounding interesting. 
It's sounding interesting. Oh yeah, I bought I bought some while ago too. Yeah, I bought some jade. I'm gonna tell you, yep, sure did. I see what's popping. Shit, my money don't get mad like Jerry Jones said. Don't let your money get mad. I learned that a long time ago, pimp. Anyway, introducing the rising floor. I only bought a little bit though. Anyway, introducing the rising floor. This is what real utility looks real utility looks like. Through a series of strategic bets, the Jade Treasury will increase in value, thus increasing the backed price. The goal, a war path to a $1,000 price floor for Jade. See, I read that and that's what made me get in. I ain't gonna lie. This will be done through Jade's decentralized VC fund. And in, unlike other projects, this backed price will actually be maintained via buybacks through our intelligent algorithmic buy bot. And then they said full in-depth details in the second half of this mega post. For reference, let's look at some data points of successful funds. And it goes into Chris Sockers' lowercase capital fund is at 213% times over about 3.5 years starting June 2010 and still rising. Okay. Lowercase capital had a 213 times return over three and a half years. Multi-coin capital's hedge fund assets have soared 20,287% over 3.5 years. The list goes on. It says Jade's 70 plus million treasury is starting is the starting capital of the fund. As strategic bets are placed come to fruition, the treasury could easily 100x plus. Damn which in turn would increase the floor price of Jade by orders of magnitude. That's easy. That's, 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 hmm. The rising floor mechanism means that the floor price of Jade cannot ever go down. Over time, it can only go up. Go in one direction, which is up. Full details of how this works in a bit. Now, here's how the Jade price could subtly 10x, 100x, or higher. Jade's 1,000x opportunity. Every VC fund has a small team of experts that are on the hunt for unicorns. A unicorn is an investment that has the potential to see a massive multiple in returns. In the startup world, a unicorn refers to a company that passes the $1 billion valuation mark. It happens so rarely and it's so special that investing in one is like finding a mythical unicorn. Very interesting. These small teams spend every waking moment scouring and filtering for unicorns. The fund is bottlenecked by the capacity and talent of their in-house unicorn hunting team. What if there was a fund that could crowdsource the hunting and filtering of unicorn investments? Hmm. What if a fund wasn't limited to a small in-house team, but instead could leverage the collective brain power of over 100,000 people? I get it now. That's why they were saying that they were so proud of 150,000 diamond hand holders. But honestly, most of those, a lot of those diamond hand holders were diamond hand holders because they lost so much money. It didn't make any sense to sell. And I, and I could definitely understand you not locking in the losses because it's not a loss until you sell. So if the price had fell as far as it did, for a lot of people, it just did not make sense to lock that loss in. You might as well go ahead and ride it to the floor. And that's why I made that video saying it was so low. Shit, the only thing it could do was go up. What you gonna do? I mean, anyway, let's keep going. In other words, how are we going to reach a floor price of $1,000 or more for each J token? Yes, we'll have our own in-house expert analyst team that hunts for unicorn investment opportunities, but we're also going to cheat. Introducing the Alpha Army. We're mobilizing our community to find 1,000x unicorn investments. How? By creating a unicorn filter. $100,000 will be rewarded to the community members that find, research, and present opportunities at Jade that result in a treasury investment. And then they have a link for you to submit your proposals. 
Our team of world-class fund managers will go through submissions daily and filter the highest quality briefs. Now let's skip over that little part. Here's what the three-phase process looks like. The community, the Alpha Army, will submit thousands of proposals for investment opportunities, both in and outside of crypto. Our team, number two, our team will go through every single proposal and filter the highest quality briefs. Number three, the top crowdsourced proposals will, will be presented to the community as a vote. The winning proposal will receive an investment from Jade and the person who created the proposal will be awarded $100,000. God damn. Woo! Welcome to the Hive Mind VC Fund. We're the only VC fund in existence that figured out how to scale our analyst team. <laughs> this dude here is... Ah, this dude here, man. That shit is brilliant. I got, hey man, I am, I am man enough to to salute, and respect. I mean, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but man, like I told you guys, I have no emotions in this. I haven't lost a lot of money, but this shit is, excuse my language, but mm, okay. Incentive alignment is a beautiful thing. Discovering one thousand x returns requires legwork. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. And it all starts with filtering through a heaping pile of counterintuitive contrarian plays. Now a question, why would a new project want to give our community a pre-sale allocation of their token? This is where it gets epic. All new projects want two things, money, which is an initial capital to fund the team, two users, human beings that would actually use the protocol product and become evangelists. There's no VC fund that can provide both those things. Centralized VC funds just provided the money. Guess what? <laughs> Jade has both. <laughs> and we're the only VC fund in the world world that can say that. Now, I don't know, I don't know that. I, I'm not I'm not a financial genius. I'm not in that world. So I can't even argue against these points. I'm gonna be very honest with you. It's my first year in crypto. What I like trying to argue against that. Anyway. This has never been done before. And if you don't instantly see why it's exciting, then think through this. I, I can see. I can see. Tons of projects are going to want our money. 70 million plus, 70 plus million treasury and growing in our community, which is 150,000 members. Because of, because of the above, the treasury will get preferential economics plus allocations from projects that we invest in. Why? And when I say we, of course, I'm talking about them. I'm not including myself in that. Because the potential for a project to 100 to 1,000 X plus is significantly higher once it's exposed to our massive community that will act as evangelists. That's major. As a result of investments mooning, Jade's back price can increase exponentially due to the rising floor. I have to repeat this because it's so important to understand. There has never been a fund with a user base. Hmm. And said so we have over 150,000 people that can be mobilized as initial evangelists of a project. And once I read that earlier, so I didn't read it through like that, but once I kind of skimmed through and I caught that part, I said, dang, that shit is brilliant. I got to admit it. It is what it is. J okay, let's keep going. This is going to be long, but I'm sorry. The Jade Treasury and community is every early stage project, <laughs> every early stage project's wet dream. Pre-sale allocations are reserved for private VC funds. These private funds receive preferential economics, yeah, which often means they get a token price that will be 10x or higher once it hits retail. Why would a project pick a centralized VC fund like A16Z for allocation when they could give it to Jade and also bootstrap a massive community at the same time? Projects seeking investment solve their two biggest problems, users and money, by giving the Jade Army a fat pre-sale allocation. It's a no-brainer for every project in existence. I can't argue with that. 
and holding J gives you a seat at the VC table, typically a door open only for elites. Our world-class VC fund managers will then deploy intelligent management strategies. These profits will be put into the back and treasury, thus dramatically increasing the floor price. We believe that J will trade well above the back price because explosive growth can't be timed. <laughs> Imagine selling J, going to sleep and waking up to a J price that has doubled or tripled because of the treasury investment exploded in value overnight. Yeah, it would hurt. <laughs> it would hurt, dog. It would hurt. It would hurt. I haven't been in the project and I haven't sold. I, hey, man. Ooh, if you sold and you woke up, yeah, yeah. But hey, for example, if Jade invested five hundred thousand in the Axie during its pre-launch, then that five hundred thousand would have turned into seven hundred and fifty million dollars a day, a multiple over one thousand x. This will result in the floor price of Jade blasting through a thousand dollars as profits are added to the backing treasury, and that's just from one bet. This kind of parabolic growth from one of Jay's bets cannot be charted or analyzed, which is why markets tend to price in potential long before one of these bets pay out. Hmm. Exiting Jay could mean missing out on many multiples in value. It's the equivalent of taking money out of a VC fund before one of his bets went to the moon. Think of it like this. The value of Jade equals cumulative potential of all Jade's ongoing investments plus the value of the treasury. Doing fundamental price analysis on Jade is impossible because of the unknown component of our unicorn investments. We will be able to deploy 100% of treasury immediately. Of course not. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. It says, will we be able to deploy 100% of treasury immediately? Of course not. This is why capital that is sitting idle will be yield formed. More info on this later, part two of the roadmap. The yield forming of idle assets will begin within 72 hours. All available treasury funds will be used in some way to accrue value to increase the backing treasury, thus increasing, increasing the plot. <laughs> All available treasury funds will be used in some way to accrue value to increase the backing treasury, thus increasing the floor price of Jade. There's a lot more to this, and I'm not going to, it's already, I'm already like 15 minutes on this video. And there's a lot to this, y'all. There's a lot to this. So I'm not going to read all of this. Just know it says at the end, welcome to Jay's transition to real effing utility. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, man. Other people might be mad at you, but I'm not mad at you. So let me know what you think about this video. This is your boy, my two Satoshis, and I'm out. Stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole is.